Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome to the wild, weird, and wondrous world of words. Sure, you might think that words just sit on a page in a book and nobody cares because there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them, but I'm sorry, but you're wrong. The world of words is constantly evolving and words come and go. So how many words are there? Well, the short answer is nobody knows. Depending on who you ask, estimates range from 750,000 to 1,500,000 words in the English language alone. That's a lot. It's a whole lot of words. But if you've picked up a dictionary recently, you'll know that there are definitely not that many words in there. So how many words are there in a dictionary? Well, Webster's third new international dictionary, unabridged, plus the 1993 addenda section, says approximately 470,000 words. Oxford English Dictionary, another leading authority on words, says, yeah, that's about right. So where are the rest of the words? Words come and go. Words will be omitted or added to the dictionary for various reasons. Science, technical, and sailing terminology are quite commonly cut from the dictionary because we just don't use them anymore. Some words are just obsolete, such as nephoscope or Ostmark. Also, words change. Vitamin G is now riboflavin. Terms made up of two or more words are especially vulnerable. The words themselves might remain, but the terms might be self-evident, such as record changer or pocket handkerchief. But just because a word is old-fashioned doesn't mean it's going to be removed. For instance, thee and thou are words Shakespeare used, but they're still in the dictionary because we still use those today. But there's an ebb and flow because words are also added. Every year, actually. Sometimes we have to add words because of new technical or scientific terminology. Other times it's common slang or text speak, or sometimes it's just fashion or contemporary culture. But because there's no one authority to say what is or isn't a word, the Oxford Dictionary is online, which is the fun and modern version from the Oxford University Press, which puts out the Oxford English Dictionary, comes out with, with periodical updates of new words that are added. And it's painful to admit, but these are officially recognized words. Bra, inbox, hella, douchey, wahahaha, ridic, writ, soul patch, photobomb, and my least favorite from this recent edition, vajazzle. Words added to the Merriam-Webster Collegiate Edition are tame in comparison. Brain cramp, f-bomb, flexitarian, life coaching, sexting. Why does this happen? Here at Oxford Dictionaries, we use language research to describe rather than prescribe language usage. And they're just reporting what they see. So if you didn't think you had any say in the dictionary, think again. What they're saying is, whether you like it or not, you made this happen. And there are just as many things to say about words as there are words. So I'll just leave you with some links that you can go to to do your own research. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, or even just the usual rude YouTube observations, please feel free to leave them below. I'm good. But that's quite a vague adjective, so let me try to present a more selective profile of precisely how good I am. First of all, I'm dope, not to mention a man. Fantastic, terrific, slick, it's the wicked, it's high, fresh, nice, magnificent, outstanding, slamming above par, flawless, let's not forget best by far. Impeccable, exceptional, unparalleled, delectable, invisible, a very swell, gripping, grand, glorious, impressive, and...